Well, greetings, amazing students, and welcome back to another week here at CBU. Uh, the title for this week's reflection is Do Not Fear, For I Am With You. Do Not Fear, For I Am With You. And I know some of you may be already familiar with the scripture verse that I'm going to cite later in, uh, in this reflection. Uh, as we enter into another week of studies, it's completely possible that you may be asking yourself at this point, what have I gotten myself into, right? You may look at the syllabus, your blackboards, your assignments, uh, that you will be completing over the semester and say, I'm not sure I can handle this, or I'm not even sure I should continue in this program. I'd like for you to know that those feelings are normal and that you're not alone in having those feelings. Chances are some of your classmates are also having the same thought. The thing is, our thoughts can be very powerful, right, over our psyche. They can lead us to believe that we are somehow less deserving of success or that our success is a fluke. If that's you, I'd like to remind you that you were accepted to our program because you earned the right to be here. We did not say yes to everyone. We did not accept every applicant who applied. In your interview, we saw something in you that manifested as potential, passion, and grit. You would not have been accepted to this program if we did not think that you could not successfully complete the journey. So if fear of being able to succeed in your studies has entered your heart, please remind yourself that you deserve to be here. There's a powerful poem on fear that I'd like to share with you written by Marianne Williamson. It's titled, Our Greatest Fear. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us most. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just some of us, it's within all of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. This poem reminds us that we were born to make manifest the glory of God within us. For that reason, we needn't doubt our fear of success. Rather, we are called to let our light shine. There's a scripture verse in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 that states, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We are reminded in Isaiah, like this poem, that with God, we can do all things. With God, we can overcome any deadline, endure any hardship, and we can take comfort in the fact that we are worthy of the success that comes our way. As you continue your studies this week, I would ask you to remember that you are fully deserving in God's eyes. You are exactly what God had in mind when he made you, and you are exactly where God needs you to be. Finally, I'd ask you to listen to the same verse in Isaiah as provided by the message interpretation. In the message interpretation, it says, don't panic, I'm with you. There's no need to fear for I'm your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. Keep a firm grip on you. Transformation rarely comes without discomfort, but it's in our transformation that we develop fully into capable human beings and brilliant children of God. Please continue to persevere, and don't worry, the finish line will be here before you know it. Folks, I want to say thank you so much for persevering another week of studies. If you need me, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, you will be in my prayers. Thank you all, and God bless.